boat is one of the few ways into the Balaclava nuclear submarine base. But first, look over this wall at the sheer rock face. It conceals this entire secret base inside. It's dug right into the mountain, 400 feet below ground. In 1993, this base was decommissioned, and the submarines and nuclear weapons were removed. But deep inside are remnants from an age when nuclear war was a gloomy reality. In the 60s and 70s, this channel would have been guarded by KGB officers who were under orders to shoot on suspicion. And if I didn't have the right security permit, I would have been history. Luckily, times have changed. After their classified missions, Soviet submariners would dock in this channel for maintenance and repair. During the Cold War, there were 50 Soviet submarines stalking American and NATO ships in the area. Those subs, capable of starting World War III, quietly cruised into this man-made channel and disappeared from the eyes of the U.S. and its allies. Oh, look at the size of this whole structure. This 2,000-foot-long channel was just the tip of the iceberg. Hello there. Without an expert, it's hard to navigate the submarine base, so I arranged to meet a captain in the Ukrainian army, Oleg Harivskish, and his translator, Yulia Kepkina. How are you? Thanks for meeting me. The main channel is 26 feet deep, running 400 feet underground. It's big enough to hold nine subs at a time. The base covers almost four acres. A central channel about a third of a mile long arcs around from the harbor entrance to another opening that spills directly into the Black Sea. From the submarine channel, a corridor leads back almost 1,000 feet into the mountain. The inner chamber was protected by massive airtight doors. Wow. 